take over. In my time before, Miguel. Not quite like this. Before the fight begins, the fighters look into each other, to the inner man. Those boxers know which one is going to win. And I know which one is going to win. Considered your proposal. I have one concern. What if my merchandise reaches Mazatlan successfully, but your merchandise is intercepted at sea? Ching Chao, the United States Navy has no interest in vessels moving between Mexico and Asia. That is the beauty of this deal. Is it possible for you to send your shipment first? Once I receive it, I'll send mine to you. Maybe we can work out a cash figure to be paid in case either of our shipments is lost in transit. Miguel, we don't want each other's money. You want my heroin, I want your cocaine. I have a partner on my end, I can't speak for him. Please consult with your partner and give this your most serious consideration. I don't think El Lomo's gonna go for it. I'll explain it to him slowly. Caramba, Miguel, explain it to me. We're supposed to trust some pinche chino now. Don Zambrano is here. Don't worry, I'll back you up. Bring him in. Si, senor. Mira nomás que culito. Miguelín. Mi lomo. What's with the dog? Pepino. Que hay, mi lomo? Come on, Pepino. I take him everywhere I go. Es mi patita de conejo. Well, don't let him piss on my carpet. The same goes for you, too. Yeah, I'll piss on you. <laughs> You're ah. funny. Mm -hmm. So, Kunchao wants to go forward with the deal. Mm -hmm. 
But he wants us to send our medica first. For the initial shipment, I think we should do it. It's your brother Christian? We send ours when he sends his. Both ships in the water at the same time. He won't cheat us. What Kun Chao wants is a steady supply of coca. Why should we trust him? He doesn't trust us. He can sell his China white in the U.S. for $100,000 a kilo. That's $20 million this shipment. That kind of money, Lomito, worth the risk, no? Miguelin, tell me something. Don't lie to me. When you were in Thailand, did you eat dog meat? What? Does he or does he not eat dog meat? That's what I want to know. Are you putting me in business with some dog-eating Chinaman? Ah, Lomo. Between us, we control a thousand miles of border between Mexico and the U.S. But the world is a larger place. We can do this globally. Huh? I will bring Kun Chao here. You meet with him. In the meantime, why don't you stay here in the hotel as my guest? Okay. I'll meet him. <laughs> Miguel, I need to talk to you. You should have called the head. It would only take five minutes. I'll get a little more taken care of. What do you need, Lupita? You need me, Miguel, here in Ciudad Juarez. I have advice that you will need to run La Corporación. You're planning a very big deal. This deal will end very badly, unless you take this with you at all times. I had a vision about it. You will lose three times what you put in, unless you carry this. I appreciate the thought. Do not feed the foreign man. Do not feed the foreign man. OK, I got it. Also. I saw a smiling face in the sky. Your face is smiling, but it means danger to you. Enough. Whatever game you want to play, I'm not playing it with you. Go back to Sonora. Be with your husband. This was a long, hard road, but I'm glad we can both just get on with our lives now. I am not signing that. What? Were you at the racetrack last night, Dr. Klein? I don't believe this. Do you have any other tricks up your sleeve? Because he's given you everything you've asked for. I just want to know if he went to the track last night. Yes. Yes, what a shock. I still wager on horses. <laughs> Do you disapprove? <laughs> Whatever flips your switch. I'm just curious. How much did you wager last night? 30,000, that sound about right. What? You've got private detectives following me? Laurel, I am not hiding money from you. Why won't you sign the damn papers? She will not sign the damn papers because she's worried, doctor. Worried that the 50% share of your surgical practice to which she's entitled for the next decade will be rendered valueless if you continue gambling like a bastard. Just do me a favor, Lorelei, okay? Just, just admit what you're doing. You're dragging this out to torture me. Oh, now don't get your knickers in a twist. You can have a signed settlement today for a lump sum cash payout of $2 million. Where am I supposed to get that? You shouldn't be surprised. I talked to Diana. She told me what you said to Alan. Alan? What, what did I say to Alan? FC. What do you mean, FC? That Lorelei, she's such an FC. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you want to make me say it? You are so sick, Woody. Do you know what FC is? I never called you that. I swear. I never used that word about you. Diana told me. Diana's a lying bitch! And I, I, I never called that. Shh, shh, shh. 
If you want out of this marriage, you're gonna have to find a quick way to pay me two million bucks, and then you will see this fucking cunt get on with her life with bells on. Excuse me. Hey, Dee Dee, welcome back. Hey, thanks. How you feel? Good enough for the rubber gun spot. <laughs> What's going on with the investigation? They think Rafael Chapa fled to South America. I heard the Mexican government is stonewalling us at every turn. Agent Flores. Agent Flores. What's the matter, Anna? You forgot my name. He wants to see you. I've been doing my best to get you fired, Flores. But I can't get it done. The State Department wants to sweep this whole thing under the carpet. So the best I could do was send you out of my division. So you clear out your desk. You're going to Houston. Sir, I can't leave El Paso. My family's here. My horse is here. Your horse? Flores, if you want to resign, then do so. I'm done thinking about you. I want you out of here by lunch. Time to get up. Come on, Joey. Just be out of time. <laughs> hey. What happened? I... Do you remember having to go to the bathroom last night? No. Well, let's get you cleaned up. It was an accident. Baby, I know. Don't tell Dad. Don't tell him, okay? Okay, I won't. Hey, now who is this you drove? Tia Lupita. Why did you draw her? I was just drawing. It's good. <laughs> Go get ready. Wild night last night, mi lomo. Do they show? Because I'm trying not to let it show. Did the girl treat you right? Hey, Miguel, no. I'm impressed, Miguelin. You have a very nice hotel here. Ven acá, cosita. Ven. Qué lindo, mi cosita. Adios, mi papazote. Kunchal's plane is in the air. Can be here tonight. Now, let me warn you about a few things with this guy. When we meet, don't wear black. Black is associated with death. And don't point the bottom of your feet at him. That's an insult. Serio? Most important of all, you should never touch his head. Well, now you're going too far, Miguel. Because every time I see a Chinese guy, the first thing I want to do right away is touch his head. Oye, man. That son of a bitch is coming over here to impress me. I'm not supposed to impress him. But I hope you agree what's important is making the deal. Let's hope he doesn't lick his lips when he sees Pepino. Please, let's not have the dog at the meeting. Que te dije? This is mi patita de conejo. I don't do anything without him. Milomo, remember, you and I stand to make $20 million on this first shipment alone. Let's keep that thought in our minds. So what's up? Are they gonna be flexible? Uh, they're not flexible, Woody. Oh, damn it. Uh, I thought we had agreed that you should ease off on the gambling. There's no way. No way that I'm gonna be able to borrow $2 million. Did you go back to the track last night? What, are we married now? Did you lose $12,500? You see, the betting manager at the clubhouse, he's selling you out cheap, my friend, for 200 bucks. He told me everything I wanted to know. How much he had to eat, how many times he went to the crapper. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who? You mean Nick? You know, I think maybe this is for the best because I think you've got some issues that need to be dealt with. Nick sold me out to my ex-wife's lawyer. Are you hearing me here, Woody? Nick, that Greek son of a bitch, he's gonna cost me $2 million. What I wonder about this deal, how come it's two for one? 
Let's not talk business. Let's get to know each other. No, I'm just asking. Why is it that we have to put up two kilos of our merca to every single one of yours? It was agreed upon. Nothing was agreed upon yet. That's why we're having the meeting. Kindly explain to your friend. No, no, you talk to me. I ask the questions. I'm not his friend. I'm his partner. I have the ships. I have the ports. Let's get out of this office. This is your first time in Mexico. What can I show you? You're a gracious host, Miguel. I would very much like to see a Mexican cockfight. They are the gallo. You know about cockfighting? Well, cockfighting is for children. You want to see something good, you should see a dogfight. I saw some very wonderful dogfights in Afghanistan recently. The animals tore each other to pieces. Let's do it. Yeah, they will take you to eat, eh? Antojitos, un pozole con tepache. You like pig's feet? No, no, thank you. Well, how about uh, un, un mole poblano? So good, it takes two days to make. No food, no Mexican food. I don't want to get diarrhea. Diarrhea? I brought my own food. Listen, look, me dijo este pinche chino diarrhea. Diarrea, come on! Be calm. Don Zambrano, take your man, walk out of this office. Walk away! Pinche chino. Vámonos. After leading officers on a wild chase through town for over an hour, Got it. I'll be back, Grandma. Where are you going at? Go look up with some friends. You're gonna be hanging out all night here. Yeah? Yes, ma'am, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong people, dog. Gotta pay the price. Who is this? Your guilty conscience. Why don't you come on outside and see what I brought you? What the hell is this? <laughs> you think you're the baddest dude in Houston, but you're wrong about that. Come on outside. I'm right across the street at the payphone. Bring your boys with you. Let me see how bad you is for real. Right outside, huh? <laughs> Damn straight. So come on with it, you punk-ass bitch. Dude, ain't you, Junior? <laughs> nah, man. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Let me tell you something. My college running back coach told me. Dude played 10 years in the pros. Everywhere he went, he wore a Rolex watch, diamond rings, a bunch of jewelry. He said, you see these rings? He said, damn it, I'm greedy. I like jewelry. I like cars. And I love women. He said, if you want all that, you can have all that. Because it's all about winning championships, baby. You feel me? I guess, man. I guess, huh? Come here, let me show you something. Check this out. You see that car? Yeah, that's your bean. <laughs> no, shorty. That's your bean. You do good by me, 
I do good by you. You getting it to me? That's right. Legal and everything. But don't get too damn excited. Man, I'm excited. I'm for real, truck. Man, it's nice. Yeah, right. Look here. Go on around the corner, though. Perlene, give me one of them steak sandwiches, all right? Man, I'll get you three steak sandwiches. All right, <laughs> baby boy. Hey! My man, Doc, what's cracking with you, baby? Uh, what are you silly, Doc? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Listen, Chuck, I, uh, I need a favor. Whatever you need, Doc. You done changed my life. You just name I want to borrow your enforcer. Yeah? What you need it for? Well, maybe I shouldn't ask. Yeah, you, know, you probably shouldn't. Yeah, all right, all right, I got you. Hey, look, Juni, whatever this man needs you to do, you do it for him, all right? All right, Chuck. Now, y'all gonna work it out. Good to see you, oh, Doc. All right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Need whatever you need. Okay. All right. You got it. Holla. Okay. Thank you. All right, now. How are you, Junie? Fine, man. I need you to beat somebody up. I'll pay you $1,000. Do you know where the racetrack is? Who I got to beat up? Me. Where are you going? Got to go around the corner and get a steak sandwich. Uh, Junie. Junie, let me explain this to you. I want to stage it as a mug in the parking lot at the racetrack. The lighting is very, very poor. You won't be seen by anybody. So you want me to beat your ass? Yeah, so it looks like I was robbed. You know, just give me two or three good shots in the face and run like hell. But, but don't break anything, okay? Particularly my nose or my jaw. Hell no, this don't even sound right. Come on, you won't get in any trouble. Look, all right, okay. Look, I'll give you 2000 What's the purpose? The purpose is to sue the balls off the owners of that racetrack for having an unsafe parking lot. So, so you can make a lot of money, huh? Yes. Don't you make enough money? As a surgeon? No, I mean the other thing. I don't do the other thing anymore. All right. I'll whip your ass. All right, thanks. You Get a cigarette, man. Hi, hey, uh, excuse me, fellas. Junie. I'm not changing my mind, Miguel. I'm out of this deal. If you want to stay in business with that pinch of Chinaman, you do it alone. Muy bien. I want to pay you a fee in cash to let me move La Merca in and out of the port of Mazatlan. How much do you want for the use of the port? Five million dollars. I'll give you 2.5. If you don't want that, I'll go to the Gulf Cartel and move it to Veracruz. 2.5. All right, Miguel. See, that's how I like to do business. Simple and straightforward. So keep an eye on that sneaky chino, eh? Nos vemos. Hasta la próxima. Pepino. Ready? Let's go. Okay. Show it. Let's go. Yeah. What are you drawing? A picture. I can see it's a picture. What's it of? It's a ship. It's a sunken treasure ship. I'm not finished with the waves. Who's that? That's Dad. Looks like he's waving his arms like he needs help. No. He'll be all right. He's going to swim away. OK. Let's go. Get your shoes on.
the rest of my money? I got your money. I saw a smiling face in the sky. What's wrong? I don't know. No, I'm serious. You've never seen catfish this big. They're jumping right in the boat, I swear to God. I s Come on in. No, let me get back to you, okay? She's here. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Doug Duffy. Good to be working with you. You have a seat. First off, uh, I'm a lot more laid back than you're probably used to, so you just uh, call me Doug. So you are a border rat. Here, our focus is a little bit different, but we do stay busy. We got Nigerians, Colombians, hell, we even got outlaw motorcycle gangs. What do you think of that? Throw me right in. I'm ready. You speak Spanish, right? Yes. Lomo has to die. I want to give him a chance to make it right. He stole a ton and a half of America. He has to die. Wait a minute. A ton and a half? I thought the deal was a thousand kilos for 500, two for one. It became three for one. The idea was that we would only risk 500 kilos. I know what the idea was, Marlene. Let's focus on right now. I say we get a couple men together. I go to Tijuana, and we take care of this problem. Chato, that will lead to a bloodbath. We have no other choice, Miguel. We do if he returns La Merca. I can't believe Aloma wants to go to war over he this. He stole it. Why would he want to give it back? Don Miguel, your cousin Lupita's here. Mickey, you shouldn't have paid any attention to what she said to you. What does Lupita have to do with this? You pushed ahead with this deal when you should have let it go. And you pushed it because she told you it would turn out bad. Tell Lupita I do not have time to see her. Miguel, you have to listen to me. You have to take this. It's not too late. I told you before, Lupita. I do not need your good luck charms. Did everything I saw in my vision come to pass? You need me by your side, Miguel. <laughs> Hell no. Nobody needs you here, Lupita. One day, you're going to come back to me, Miguel? I hope by then it's not too late. Get on your broomstick and go. <laughs> Guerra. Tell Joy not to be afraid.
Give me your money, white man. Junie. <laughs> Who are you expecting it to be? It's very funny. Don't count it now. This is supposed to be a mugging. Well, I gotta make sure it's all here. Do you think I'd shortchange you? Okay, let's do this. Remember, avoid the nose. I mean, you ready? Ow, man. Hold up a second. Shit. You never had your ass whooped before, have you? Okay, give me another one. Oh. That's good. Good, okay, okay, good. Okay, one more, you get out of here and I call the cops. Come on, make it a good one. Come on, come on, give me a good one. <laughs> robbed and my grandson found you laid out in the street he brought me here he figured i'd know what to do i'm a retired nurse you see like i told my junie when somebody lose consciousness they need to be in the emergency room or there could be brain damage i called an ambulance 10 minutes ago no 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 i, I don't need an ambulance oh yes you do oh but whether they come is a different story I told him it was a white man, but they might have thought I was lying just to get him to come. Well, I can take him to the hospital, Grandma. Oh, good. I think you should. Do you have any recollection who done this to you? No. No, ma'am, I don't. And it's a good thing my grandson came across you. He's a good boy. My Junie is a real good boy. Hey, asshole. You should have been turning that music off. Why don't you come down here and suck my dick, Fiat? Well, you don't want me to come down there. Turn it off. <laughs> They like every five minutes, you recognize minutes when I spin it From the hill down south all the way to finish No flaws, no blemish, you lust for an endless And now you want it like every five What do you mean after hours club? Why don't you shut it down? This area's been zoned for 24 hour use, man So they can party all night? I'm afraid so Look, this goes on two, three nights a week Look, I'm with the DEA I bet there's 20 different kinds of illegal drugs being used in there I expect that's true, but it's a private party. You can't enter the premises without specific evidence that a crime is being committed. You can't send somebody in there undercover. Why shouldn't you try that? They couldn't get past the door. Hmm. Uh, where are you going? It's a private club. Private club? Hey, you gotta be on the list. Did you let in a girl wearing a red dress and heels? She's got my car keys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, I'm just trying to go home, and she forgot to give me back my keys. So can I just run in and look for her? <sighs> Come on, I have to go home, and a cap's gonna cost me 30 bucks. <sighs> Can't you hook me up?
You having fun yet? Oh, yeah. You like this music? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I picked this up in South Africa when I was in Johannesburg. They got some incredible music over there. Oh, wow, is this your club? Yeah, me and some partners. How you hear about it? Who you know? <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I don't know anybody. My girlfriend gave the DJ BJ <laughs> to put our names on the list. <laughs> yeah? But where your girlfriend at? Oh, <laughs> well, the last time I saw, she was outside picking her guts out. <laughs> <laughs> so you a music producer? Yeah. Yeah, you a singer? Yeah. How did you know? Well, most of the women up in here think they can sing. Most of them are sadly mistaken. You ever been in a recording studio? Um, no, not really. Well, uh, if you ever want to find out whether you can really sing or not, call me. I put it on tape. All right. Cool. You be good. Okay, you too. Doug, I couldn't believe how much coke I saw in this place. At an after hours club. It goes on three nights a week, and I can get back in whenever I want. Flores, what the hell is your problem? I could have you relieved of duty right now. Look, I do not tolerate freelancing. You do not do anything without my foreknowledge or approval. And that way we avoid the type of disaster that befell you and Special Agent Patterson. Am I making myself quite clear? Yes, sir. Now I want you transcribing wiretaps until I say otherwise. Have a good day. T. Hey, Lomo. Did you find out what happened? It's crazy. I can't find out who gave the order. The governor, the attorney general's office. I don't know what the hell's going on. But I will repay the front half of the money you gave me. You know, you used to lie better than this. When you arrived to the dock, you knew exactly what was going to happen. That's not true. Where was Pepino? Que? The dog. Your good luck charm you insist on taking everywhere you go. You didn't need luck that day, did you? Because you set it all up. No, I did not. And even if I did, what are you going to do about it? In 24 hours, you will return everything you stole. Oh, you can see into the future now, Miguelin? Your future? Yeah. I can see it very clearly. Do you believe in that stuff? Prophetic dreams, visions. Put it this way. I don't believe in ghosts. But I saw one. What? Never told you about the cats? No. What cats? About 10 years ago, I found this cat soaking wet in a rainstorm. I brought it in, took care of it. Named him Queso. It's more like a like a puppy than a cat, man. Didn't this? That guy would lay on my chest and lick my chin for a half an hour with. Some people are dog people. Anyway, one day, Queso got run over by a car. Pacata. Dead. That night, I woke up in the middle of the night. There he was, at the foot of my bed, glowing. Glowing. And I go back to sleep, wake up. There he is again, at the foot of my bed, glowing. <clears throat> I can't imagine why you never told me that story before. Like I said, I don't believe in ghosts but I saw one. 
And maybe you should pay attention to Lupita. Whether you believe it or not. Oh, what up? 